an example, $100 a month in a Roth IRA over 40 years is a million dollars. That is a lie. Compound interest dogma has been long respected as the way from rags to riches. I will explain to you in three steps why, in my opinion, this is not true. Compound interest advocates will defend their position by saying the numbers don't lie. Just use a compound interest calculator. While the math may indeed be correct, that's just it. It's only math. It literally takes nothing else into account. No real life situations or road bumps. The first reason is time. Compound interest requires 50 years of your life and the most important resource that we all have and will never get back. No one is guaranteed tomorrow, let alone another 50 years. Even if you start investing at 18, which is extremely unlikely as most of us are stacking on student debt, you won't even be able to touch that money until you're 68. Giving up 88% of your life for the last 12% doesn't seem like an adequate deal. The second reason is reality. The gurus always use high returns between 8 to 12%. Susie Orman in the beginning of this video used 12% for her calculation. To put this in perspective, the last time return from a financial institution was offered this high was Bernie Madoff. Returns this high are associated with high risk, and the calculator factors in zero risk, fear, and time in the market. But don't worry, your money will grow, right? The last and most important point that cripples compound interest is inflation. The average inflation is 3.25%, and in 2022, it was a whopping 6%. In order for your return to even break even, it needs to match inflation. Meanwhile, the ones preaching this message are making millions off your hard-earned money while selling you a dream that once realized is a scam, it's way too late. If it was as simple as investing $100 per month, everybody would be a millionaire. If you enjoyed this video, I know you'll like the frugality scam right here. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.